Okay, everyone, I'm one to hack and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to program the ZTW series of ESCs. Um, this particular one is the ZTW 12 amp ESC and um, as you see it's a simple little ESC that um, may or may not come flash with any bootloader. This one has an Atmel chipset on it, as you see on the back there, that's an Atmel chip. And um, for that chip we need to use uh, the USB ASP programmer. Um, if it has Simon K bootloader flash, you can use the, uh, the Afro ESC or the Turnigy USB linker, but um, sometimes they don't actually have bootloader or perhaps come with a BL Heli bootloader. But this one will actually, if you have got Simon K, you'll be able to use that one. If you don't, you need to use the USB ASP programmer that we've got here um, to program the bootloader onto the chip. Um, it's a pretty straightforward process, we'll go through that. But uh, yeah, it's the only way to get the bootloader on. Um, you see the chip programmer here, this fits onto the chip, which I'll show you in a second. Um, so yeah, yeah, basically we do need to peel off the, the shrink wrap to do that, um, to program it with this. Um, once we've got the USB, um, once we've got the Simon K on onto it, we can use the USB um, programmer to program it by using the, the servo plug that we plug into it. Okay, so here's one I prepared earlier. So we need to take the shrink wrap off. Um, just be careful you don't lose the, uh, the little uh, heat sink here. So just put that somewhere safe. Now on the back here, as I said, we've got the Atmel chipset. And you'll see a little dot there. That's actually pin, uh, pin one on the chip. Now that's got to be low, uh, lined up with the, the programmer that goes onto the chip. There's a little red dot that you see just in the corner there now. That has to line up with that pin one. So a bit hard handling it here with one hand, but I'll just spin it around roughly, get that out of the way. Okay, so we'll just lean it, there he is, lean it back over there and we'll go through and I'll show you how the, the programming of that goes. So from the top menu we click on the Atmel and then the Atmel ISP interface is the program we're using here and then Flash BL Heli. We're using the Blue Series 12A Multi on these uh, 12A ZTWs and we're installing the Simon K bootloader. Now this ensures our USB linker, our for USB linker or turn the USB linker will work with the these ESCs. So this is just going through the flash process, um, so it's flashing the bootloader at this stage. Confirming that the bootloader is flashed okay. And now it's writing the settings onto the EC. It's confirming everything is okay and it's just asking me if I want to update it with my current settings. Now some of the things I like to have is damp light. This actually allows the motors to slow down quicker which gives a more responsive flight. And um, the motor timing, I've got medium high there which gives a little bit more performance on the motors. So now we can plug our USB Afro or USB linker into our PC and connect the servo cable. See the pen bent out of the way so there's no power running on there and the signal cable down the bottom. So from here we should be able to read and write the setting. You need to connect the power to the ESC and then go down to the USB um, Turnigy linker, Afro linker, pick your COM port and you should be able to read and also program back into this point. I think the better option is to flash BL Heli as a bootloader. It's smaller and more compact. Um, it will allow um, future expansions of the BL Heli into the ROM. So going back to your USB ASP flasher, We'll uh, just flash BL Heli bootloader onto here. So click flash BL Heli. Choose our 12 amp multi again, blue series. And now we'll spit and pick install BL Heli bootloader. See, it's a lot smaller than the Simon K. So we run through the right of the bootloader on that. And just confirm it back. and we'll flash the settings across. All we'll flash successfully. 
Now we have Beal Heli Bootloader, and I'll show you how you can use the servo cable to talk to it. So once you have BL Heli Bootloader, you can just about program it with any Arduino. I'm going to choose an Arduino Nano here. And you can actually program this Arduino straight off the BL Heli software. So I'll show you how to do that. So back on the BL Heli, we click the Make Interfaces tab. And then we can look at the Arduino board. And we're using the Nano there with the 328. Make sure your uh, serial port's been picked up. And then just click the uh, BL Heli Bootloader button here to actually burn onto the Nano. So this will actually put the software that required to basically make a USB linker for a BL Heli using Arduino Nano. So that's burning through now and that's done. So simple as that. So once the uh, BL Heli program is on the Nano we just need to hook the servo lead up so we can actually program it by servo lead. Now we come into the fourth pin, you'll see that there's ground there, so we line the servo lead up so the ground actually goes onto the, the fourth pin in and then the power and signal goes onto, if I get this in the right spot, I'll do a, I'll do a photo so you can see. So, yep, ground on the fourth pin coming in from the end, as you'll see in the photo coming up. Going back into BL Heli, now we can select the BL Heli bootloader that we've programmed onto the Nano. Select the correct COM port, and now we can connect up, make sure the power is connected to the EC at this stage. And now we can uh, read and write um, our flash setup. Um, so we can change our damp light, which I said we used before. Um, we've already got that on there, so I can actually program it back to low. We'll write that, yep, okay. And we'll put it back to damp light and write that as well. So it works well.